All right, guys. So now we're gonna do uh, chapter eleven problems. So the first problem we're, we're looking at is a two hundred fifty gram ball collides with a wall. The figure below shows the ball's velocity and the force exerted on the ball by the wall. What is VFX, the ball's rebound velocity? So essentially, the rebound velocity is the final velocity in the X. So it's after the collision. So from here to here, well, in the t time axis. From there to there, we we have the the time the the collision takes place. So when essentially when the wall is the time the wall is making contact with the ball, and then this time period is the same as this one. So, so the VFX is what we're looking for, which is the rebound velocity. Velocity. So to start with, we want to find, because this deals with momentum, because the ball has a mass, and, and the mass affects how it, how the rebound velocity is, how the contact with the ball and the and the wall is so essentially we want to use the momentum so p stands for momentum so p fx the final momentum of the ball in the x direction equals p i x the initial momentum plus j and this j is the is the impulse so so but let's keep uh, expressing it in this further with the velocity and mass. So this this is gonna be MFM VFX. So that's what we're looking for. This is the momentum, the final momentum in the X. And this will equal M V I X. Digital so this is the total thing is the initial momentum in the X plus essentially J. So this J Turns out that it is how it is. So J is the impulse, which is the change in momentum, which is caused by a force. And that force uh, depends on how much, how the period of time the force acts on the object. So, and this is the equation. So it's just the product. Is the delta T, the amount of time it, it, the force is acting on the object. So, Delta T, we can see here that is 8 milliseconds. So that's 8 times 10 to a negative 3. Then multiply by the force, which we can see do, during that. So actually the impulse would be the area under the curve. But in this case, it, it's uh, constant. The force is constant, so it's just a product. There's no integral needed. So... So the force is 500 Newton, so you plug in 500 and then you get that the impulse is 4 kilograms times meters per second. It could also be Newtons by second, but if you, if you break down the units, it, 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 they, they're the same. So kilograms by meter per second, so units of momentum. So then we want to essentially find P, PFX, which is this. So we want to just calculate this. So then the final momentum in the X, which is MVFX, equals this M, so the mass is 0.250, times the initial velocity. So initial velocity was this, negative 10. Right, there's the initial velocity, so you plug in negative 10, then you add the impulse, which we've calculated was 4. So then the final momentum has to be 1.5 kilograms by meter per second. So 1.5, so then this is MVFX. So this is MVFX, so we want to find out VFX. 
So we just divide by the mass. So, so we know that mass is 0.250 grams. Sorry, 0.250 kilograms. So VFX then is gonna be 1.5 over 0.250. So that turns out to be six meters per second. So that's the final velocity, the rebound velocity.